setting the expiration dates within Google Apps. So I have your Google Tools choice board pulled up in front of me. And let's say for this video sake that I want to only give you access after for a certain period of time. So after a set date, I want to restrict your access. So I'm going to go to share up here where my little share icon is. Click on that. And you can either click on the advanced word or the names in which you have shared the document with. So click on that. And it opens up this larger dialog box here. And so you see that I've got this document already shared with some folks. And as I hover over their names, you see a little time clock kind of appear next to the level of um, share settings you have there. So if I click on that set expiration clock, I see what options I have. I can set the number of days. Some defaults are 7 and 30, but you can turn it into a customized date. So if you have a test coming up next Monday, and let's say I want, a stu I want the students to have the, the study guide up to that day, but not beyond it, then I can set that expiration date for 7 days. Give them a certain level of sharing that I want. I can, they can edit, comment, or view, whatever that happens to be. We'll say, well, I'll view it, set that, and hit Save Changes. And now that particular account can only view this document for the next seven days, and then it will expire automatically. I don't have to come in here and change it. That'll just automatically drop off. So if you have set up Google Groups for your classes, so let's say you have Science First Hour, and you share this document with Science First Hour, you can quickly turn off or set an expiration date for that class by within this sharing window. Um, so quick video on how to set expiration dates within your Google files.